Hi everybody, this is Monica from Huckleberry Mountain Botanical School of Herbalism and I'm here with Lindy. Lindy. Okay, so last night we were not able to do any live because we got a pretty bad storm. Hi Sean. Hi Miranda. Not, we didn't get the storm last night. The storm came in. That was really weird. The day before. Yeah, the day before and that caused the electricity to the, go out. Uh, so, so we lost electricity, but then we got it back, and then the electricity went out on our microwave transmitter that. for our internet. Yeah, and the only reason we have any right now is because they put a generator. They up put a generator. They still haven't gotten it back because I know there's a lot of people in this area who are still without power, and I highly doubt that an internet tower is taking a priority over humans. You know. Yeah, the storm oh, filled up our rain tanks. That's, that's true. true. Tons of lightning though, and it has started fires, unfortunately. Yeah. But it did come with rain. It came with rain. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> rain and wind, and it really cooled it down. We went from 95 one day to 75 the next day. Yeah. That was awesome. Okay, so let's get started. Are, are, we, move, are we over there? Oh, that's why I can't find it, because I forgot to link it to. Okay, we have to link instead. over. I was wondering why. We have a step that we accidentally forgot. Yeah. I was wondering why I wasn't able to find it. Okay, we're now on we're on over there, right? The prepared homestead? Yep. Okay. So tonight we are making two things because we skipped last night. And I wanted to get to that one. Because next week I'm taking a break. My sister and her kids are coming to visit and I am spending the week with my family. Um so I won't be doing any lives next week, but we'll pick up the week after. So don't don't abandon me altogether. Come back. Yes, Come back. please. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is the chamomile rosehip um, popsicles. The first thing you do when you're making them is make your decoction and then an infusion. A decoction is simply uh, something that we, we use when we have harder materials like bark, berries, roots, um, well, hips are, are one of those, because it takes a little bit more effort to soften them and get everything out. So the rose hips need to be decocted, and I just did this for about 30 minutes, and then take it off the heat. At that point, you're gonna take your chamomile flowers, which only need to be infused, and the longer you infuse chamomile, the more bitter it gets. So don't infuse it too long. Five to 10 minutes is fine, especially if you're gonna have children taking this. And chamomile is great for what, Lindy? Uh, it's very soothing, it's antibacterial, it's antiviral, um, what are we trying here? Calming. Yeah, it's calming, and you know it's good for cranky children and adults, irritable, oh, cranky yes. children yes. and adults. It Wait, also it's one of those things. It's one of the herbs that you want to go to when people are almost reverting back to toddler yes. age, right? So you have an adult who's like in tantrum mode. Yes. Give them some chamomile. Yeah, and it, it's really good. And it, as long as you don't infuse it too long, it won't get bitter. It'll, it'll have a nice floral um, flavor that it'll add to the popsicles and give a calming thing. I mean, hey, don't all of us need to calm our kids down in the summer, right? They're home. <laughs> Unless you homeschool, then they're always home. Then you always need to calm it down. I know, but we were home. always there. I know. We were always there. <laughs> I know. Okay. So we're going to let this sit for about five or ten minutes. In the meantime, we're going to come over here and start doing the second part. Which now you can. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. I decided since we had some ripe bananas to add ripe bananas to the recipe. So I have one banana in here, and we're doing a half a cup of Greek plain Greek yogurt. Now, I was, the recipe that I was going to do, um, originally didn't have banana, it had more yogurt, and so there was, there was more honey. The thing is, this banana, because it's so ripe, is actually going to be pretty sweet. Yeah. So, I'm not even going to add a quarter of yeah, a Yeah, and you can add more afterwards, it's better to under sweeten than it is to over sweeten because you can't take honey out, but you can take more, you can put more in. Yeah, so I'm going to start with just, this is maybe one and a half tablespoons. Hey Mark. Hi 
good mark. So it's about one and a half tablespoons here. And like I said, if you're not using a ripe banana, then, and since I'm not sharing this with anybody, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. Come to my house and there's gonna be lots of licked fingers. Who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> okay, well, I am gonna blend this. And it's gonna be a little loud. And it's okay if it's got a few chunks left in it because when we add the tea, it'll smooth it out, smooth out the honey, and um, and then we'll, it'll be more pourable as well. Smelling good. Now, we have to keep a lid on with the chamomile. Why? Volatile oils, volatile oils. Yeah. If you don't keep a lid on, all the volatile oils with the heat are gonna come right out. Yeah. And, and you're gonna lose a lot of the goodness of the chamomile. So make sure you keep a lid on whenever you're doing anything that has volatile oils. Anything, well, anything in the mint family, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I would say like anything. A lot of things with the that scent. Yeah, a strong scent is yeah. going to have the volatile oils, and you want to make sure you keep those in. Yeah, I'm going to leave this sitting here for just a couple of more minutes. And since we're making two things, I know I hate confusing it because like now we're going to do this weird blendy thing, but. I'm just going to show you here. Can you move the um, rhubarb over here? Yeah. Just this whole cutting board. Like that? No, the whole cutting board. Well, like over there. Yep. Right here. Ah. In front of me. I'm going to show you here how small you're going to cut the rhubarb for the drink. Okay. Because we're talking about half inch, half inch slices. And um, you only need about a cup, and honestly, you'll probably even need less than that because you're going to end up with some leftover. But honest, oh gosh, can you use rhubarb pies? You can freeze it. Well, oh, yes, you can. But well, we're making a um, what do you call it? A rhubarb puree. Oh, I thought you said like whatever's left over you can use. Then. Well, yeah, and if you're cutting this up and you're making a puree, you can make more than you need for this drink. And you can use it on pancakes. Yeah, I mean, the next there's, day. I mean, you can use a rhubarb puree. Ooh, yeah, cool. you could you could put it in popsicles even yeah. if you wanted to make popsicles out of it, or you could save it up and use it the next day for another drink. <laughs> another alcoholic drink. Or just a sparkling water. Okay, we don't have to go alcoholic. We don't have an alcohol problem around here. Although we did have a lot of wine flowing when our family visited last weekend. That's true. <laughs> Fun times, fun times with family. All right. So this is about a cup, and that's what we'll be doing is one cup of, of this sliced rhubarb. I already made the puree because it's gonna take a little bit of time, and I didn't want you guys to have to sit here and stare at a simmering pot for 10 to 15 minutes. So you wanna put that in with about a third of a cup of sugar in a smaller pot. Where's my pot? Oh, right here. It's kind of a, you know, it's a, a little taller, smaller. but it's smaller around this way and making sure that it doesn't burn. Just keep stirring it. You have some sugar and a couple of tablespoons of water. And once it softens completely, it'll take on the texture of baby poop. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's always the baby poop with you. Yes, I know. Okay. Then an intervention. Okay. A baby poop intervention? Maybe. And then you're going to um, use an immersion blender. You, if you don't have one, you can use a regular blender. Um, you can even use a food processor. Whatever it you need to look use. Like baby poop. I know. It looks like baby poop. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna puree this. <laughs> you want to put it through a fine sieve to get out any um, pieces or anything like that. I don't really mind if I have a little bit of chunk texture. in it my drinks. Texture. Well, some people don't like texture in their drinks, though. That's a 
understandable, but, but I really don't mind it. sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind it. All right, so I think we have let our chamomile and rose hips sit long oh, enough. So I've lost track. Like, I know, I'm trying not to confuse you, but, you know. Well, I'm pretty easily confused. So. And again, I'm just putting this through a coffee filter. And um, and this drip over coffee thing. You know, use what you have. If you if you have a coffee filter and maybe a small uh, sieve or anything like that, yeah. use that. You just you don't have to get fancy equipment to do, you know, herbal things at home. You just don't. All right. Set that aside. We are going to add this to our mix here. That was in the food processor. I'm going to push it back right. into the shot. Right into the food processor. Where's my lid? Oh, there it is. Where's our? I could find it. Alright. Blending. It is a little bit warm, and so it's, it's actually going to make it kind of runny, which will make it nice for pouring. Yes. Although, okay. So I am using paper cups, you guys. You can get fancy if you want to, but I think these paper cups are really nice sizes for, we're not gonna put those on in, in a while. Oh. Um, really nice sizes, rather than the really large ones. We have other ones, but they're, they're pretty big. I don't know why they yeah. are so big. So I think these are, these are good. You can even go smaller like with the little mini Dixie cups. And we're just gonna pour. I'm not even gonna pour all the way. I'm pouring about three quarters of the way. And you know what? If there's some chunks in there, yum. Well, that means it's chunks of banana. Yeah, who doesn't like chunks of banana? All right. This is not making all seven. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to pour. I'm going to even these out. See, this is the beauty of doing your own thing is nothing has to be perfect. Yeah. You guys get to see all my imperfections all the time. And you guys, you know, then you, at home you don't feel so bad. You go, oh, Monica did that. Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do then is put these in the freezer. I'm going to partially freeze them, keep an eye on them, and it probably in about an hour we'll be able to put the stick in and it'll stay straight up. And we just you know, grabbed popsicle sticks. You know, just grab regular popsicle sticks. Don't get the ones that are colored. That color comes off. So don't do that. Just, so just get plain popsicle sticks. Someone mentioned that they didn't have um, popsicle making stuff and I was like use a Dixie cup and we had even joked about going out and just getting twigs and yeah. using sticks. I mean seriously is there anything wrong with that? I don't think so. I okay. can use a plastic spoon if all you have is a plastic spoon. For, you know, so you're gonna partially freeze it, stick the stick in there so it'll stand up and then freeze it the rest of the way. Yes. Super simple. And simple. the great thing about the paper is that the paper just peels right off, right off that icy popsicle. Yeah. So I need them. I guess. There we go. Okay. All right. So our popsicle is done, and we're going to put that in the freezer. Why don't we just pretend to put it in the freezer over there? All right. We'll put it in the freezer after we're done. We can't tell them to pretend. Of course we can. It's going to go out into our freezer in the garage, and we're not going to do that right now. All right. Now we are on to the highlight of our, of our Thursdays. Every single Thursday, we do. Oh wait, I'm gonna need this. I need the alcoholic beverage. The beverage. I mean, the it beverage. doesn't have to be alcoholic. Right. It just ends up being that way. This is my Friday, after all. It's, I mean, Thursday is the new Friday. Thursday is the new Friday. And you know what, you guys? This prepares you for Friday, right? Oh, Perfect. Wow. How many people like to have beverages Friday evening? Let me know. Put a heart or something. Let me you know, say, hey, I like to have beverages on Friday evening. I need the basil. Oh, yes. And oh. I am using purple basil, not the green. I think it's going to be prettier because I actually used um, green. Thank you. Oh, hearts. 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 Woo, woo. All right. Thank you, Miranda. Um, I love this purple basil. First of all, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that purple color. It's so gorgeous. And since I used green rhubarb, I'm not really getting that pink, that, you know, pink look. Me. Rhonda, me. Yes. All right. So hopefully this will give you some ideas for tomorrow. All right. The easiest way, you guys, to cut 
leaves, when you're dealing with herbal leaves, is stack them up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but stack them up and then roll them. And you're gonna roll it up, and now you're dealing with a roll. And then just do thin little slices, make them into little slivers, and you're kind of breaking open those cells and releasing that wonderful scent and taste. Oh my goodness, I love basil so much. I really do. Put a leaf emoji if you like basil. Oh yes, do you love basil? Leaf emoji, woo! Any leaf emoji, it doesn't, I don't think they have basil. Okay, it doesn't have to be basil. They, sh they should, but they don't. So find, find the one that's, that looks the most like basil. <laughs> don't worry about that, just find a leaf. That just, was a good okay. one. Just find, find a leaf. leaf. Even if you're watching this later, put a leaf emoji for me. Yeah. If you love basil. Okay, one of my favorite drinks is um, basil lemon drop. Basil and lemon together. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. refreshing. Okay, so this is three to four large. Yes, you grew this basil. Yes, Sean, thank you. Thank, thank you. Miranda. Thank you, Miranda. Again, she loves drinks. She loves I basil. See you. We should be friends. Um, I think we are on Facebook. Um, okay, so this is three or four large leaves. If you have smaller leaves, to me these are, you know, these were smaller. These are not like giant leaves. So, but again, if you, you know, it's your drink. Make it how you want to make it. If you want to put a lot of basil, put a lot of basil. If you want to put less, put less. Ooh, I'm so clinky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take two tablespoons of my unfiltered puree. Filter if you want to. No, it's it is chunky. <laughs> will be, wow, that's not the most attractive right now. Just saying. Oh my gosh. All right, I need one more spoon. There's Rhonda again, she loves basil. You say we're gonna All right, basil. Rhonda. Okay, what I'm gonna do to release the flavor here is to blend this up inside my glass, whatever glass you use. Hey, if you don't have any fancy glasses, this isn't that fancy. I. We had a picture the other day of one of the people that watch, which she's not here, Shamra. Shamra. Um, she did a, had a, in a like one of the drinks in a beautiful glass. It was really neat. So yeah, if you make this, post a picture, tag us in it so we can see. I love to see yeah. when people are doing stuff. This or the um, the popsicles, either one. Let us know. Mmm, it's releasing smell. Okay, now we are at the point where you need to choose how you want this beverage to be. You can add a shot of vodka and then two or three ounces of sparkling water and some ice, and you'll have a nice um, kind of mixed drink. Or you can, at this point, put in four ounces of your favorite wine. I would suggest a white wine, and um, I tried it with a Chardonnay a little earlier, just like this, a little sampler, and it was really quite tasty. But it wasn't an oak, an oaky Chardonnay. It's more of a a bright Chardonnay. So maybe a, even a Sauvignon Blanc or something like that would be good in this um, in this instance. And you can add ice if you want to. I'm gonna put four ounces of wine. Can you bring me my wine, please? We're almost done. And then I'm gonna show you something I did and I'm, gonna, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Well, we'll see if it works first because if it doesn't work, I'm not gonna teach you anything. All right, because <laughs> who knows if, it, if it'll work. Yes, I'm muddling the basil with the puree. That's exactly Just what to, I'm doing. to release the... Yeah. I really want that basil flavor in the puree. Mm -hmm. And I'm using my wine to clean off my spoon here. Now, I'm going to have chunkies in here of basil. You don't have to. You can put it through a strainer if you want to. But yeah. you'd probably want to let it sit a little bit longer. Maybe. I don't know. Straining. I might stir it in a little bit and then strain it if I wanted to strain. If I had, if I had gesso, wait, hold on. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Does someone do an angry emoji? No, it's weird. It does that. No, it does that randomly. I think that's Facebook. Like okay. Just releasing all of the emojis. I see. I am going to suggest straining it. I just got a little, you know, you know how rhubarb. Has the little sharp things that can, yeah. Sharp? I got, not sharp, they're, they're kind of spiny. Yeah, not that either. I, like a stringy. Like a stringy. Like a, yes, I like got celery. that. celery. So 
So I probably will strain this. Okay, let's get to the fancy things. I'll strain it. Well, we can strain it now. You can just bring something if you want to. I need to fill this up higher. This needs more. Do you more. want sparkling water? Oh, we could do sparkling water, but that's okay. It's too late. Too late for that. All right, I'm putting my, my leaf of basil. Now this is the thing. I'm going to see if this works. <gasps> Indeed it did. Hey, Kana. Okay. Check. Look at that. Oh, that's rhubarb. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, wait, 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 it wait. is rhubarb. Okay. We have I to must end. fully appreciate this. Let's see if the camera will focus. Focus. I'll stop moving it. There we go. Ish. Okay, never mind. But Whatever. it looks pretty. It's a swirl. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. Because I, I, it took me some experimentation because I could not figure it out. Take off that outer piece because it, it doesn't like to curl and it's, it, it's kind of, you know, strange. Just take that right off. Then starting at an end, try to get a pretty thick piece and then follow that all the way down. Once you get that, you're going to twirl it around your finger and then you're going to force it to stay in that position by putting it in a baggie in the corner and then closing the baggie up, rolling it tight and keeping it in the refrigerator. I did this about an hour ago and it made that nice, that nice twirl there. I have literally lost my entire thing of basil in there as well. <laughs> so I, I will be straining it. I recommend straining it, do that. Um, I think that's it. We, we finished the, the drink and the popsicle. And okay, the next time I will be going live is on Sunday at 4 o'clock. Um, we have our, our event where we'll be making, I don't know, five or six different preparations mm -hmm. I've, I've set aside for that event. And we'll be doing lots of giveaways and um, freebies and just hopefully generally chatting so yeah, and it's going to be a long event so if you come in at any point you'll get you know the discount code you can win prizes so just feel free to drop in yeah. anytime between four, four and five thirty and 530. follow our page pacific like time. it yes four four o'clock pacific time um like our page follow it and and tell it to notify you when we go live because i do you know, we, we go live four four days a week most weeks and this, this next one will be a big event, and then I won't be going live again for a week. So, um, hi, Kana. I, hi, Kana. I really, I would really love for you guys to join us there. And there's an event on the page, and it's been advertised several times. Um, so go over and tell us you're going to the event, and uh, we will see you then. Okay, so I guess that is it, and I hope you guys um, have a good evening. If you make either one of these things, put a picture, tag us. Let us know so that we can be happy with you. <laughs> okay? Until next time, health and joy. Bye.